Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mouthy reporter shouts at Trump. His response triggers feminists everywhere. President Donald Trump took questions from reporters outside of the White House on Friday, where one mouthy journalist decided to rudely shout at him. He wasn't about to let her get away with such obnoxious behavior, though, and his response subsequently triggered feminist everywhere. According to The Hill, President Donald Trump called a CBS News reporter so obnoxious while taking questions on the White House lawn on Friday morning. Quiet, Trump said to CBS correspondent Wei Yijiang while several reporters attempted to ask questions. She's so obnoxious, the president added to someone standing next to him before saying again to Jiang, quiet. After footage of the incident circulated, Jiang shared on Twitter that she was the reporter in question, stating that Trump told her to be quiet at least five times after calling her obnoxious. Jiang did, however, credit the president for answering plenty of our questions. Jiang said on Twitter she was trying to ask Trump why he declared the nuclear threat from North Korea was already over. Friday marked the second time in four days Trump has taken questions from the press. The impromptu press conference happened when, in an unscheduled appearance, Trump left the White House unexpectedly on Friday morning to appear live on Fox and Friends. Of course, Trump's response to the mouthy reporter triggered feminists everywhere who think that women should be able to act as rude and obnoxious as they want without ever being called out for their behavior. He cannot go around telling reporters to be quiet. File a verbal harassment complaint with the DOJ commented one Facebook user. If anyone should file a harassment complaint, it should be President Trump. Never in my lifetime have I ever seen a POTUS be so rude and condescending to the press because he was asked a question. Cannot wait for this train wreck of a president to be gone never to be heard from again, wrote another woman who was obviously triggered. Oh, no. I would have slapped his hand out of my face. So rude, I don't care who you are or think you are, commented yet another feminist. I'm sure the Secret Service would have a long chat with her afterward about physically assaulting our president. She might even get a nice pair of bracelets for her trouble. Perhaps Trump was simply irked with CBS because earlier in the week, they falsely reported that his press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, was planning to leave the White House. Two of the most visible members of the Trump administration are planning their departures, the latest sign of upheaval in a White House marked by turmoil. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders and Principal Deputy Press Secretary Rod Shah are both heading for the exits, according to sources inside the White House and close to the administration. Sanders, who has become a confidant of President Trump since the departure of former communications director Hope Hicks, has told friends that she plans to leave the administration at the end of the year. Source, CBS News We now know that this report was totally untrue, as it was debunked by Sanders herself. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders punched back, hard, on that CBS News report we told you about last night that said she's leaving the White House by the end of the year. Does that News know something I don't about my plans and my future? Asked Sanders. I was at my daughter's year-end kindergarten event and they ran a story about my plans to leave the WH without even talking to me. I love my job and am honored to work for at POTUS. President Trump's no-holds-barred approach with the press is one of the many things that got him elected. And, let's not pretend that these so-called journalists have built a rapport of mutual respect with him. The mainstream media spends day in and day out doing their best to discredit Trump by reporting bogus fake news stories instead of the many accomplishments he has achieved. None of these reporters ought to expect the utmost respect from the president if they themselves are not willing to return the favor. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.